Ooh. What's up, man? Hey, it's uh, Saturday, um, February 20th, about 3.30 in the afternoon. And I figured, um, let's do another video. Let's do another collection video. And uh, look, you can see over here, all my CDs are gone. Big empty gap here. Whoa, here too. What could that mean? Well, what it means is I'm going to do a video showcasing my um, Food Fighters collection. And I'm going to go ahead and try to do it all. And uh, the CDs and the uh, LPs. And uh, there's even some uh, singles in here. And there's some pretty cool items uh, for fans of the Foo Fighters that I have. Um, it's definitely not a full collection, but it is... And pretty ma it's a massive collection the CDs my CD collection is ridiculous my um, vinyl collection is almost complete uh, at least my t uh, in terms of albums but um, my uh, single collection is really um, very sparse it's actually something I'd like to work on but um, I'm pleased with what I have because I pretty much have at least all the recordings, certainly on CD. So this is a chronological thing, okay? If you're new to my channel because you're a Food Fighters fan, because I put up a lot of uh, music videos or uh, collection videos of um, like Jethro Tull and Genesis. I mean, like a lot of stuff that um, well, probably a lot of Foo Fighter fans think suck, all right? So I get that, but I'm into a lot of different kinds of music, and Foo Fighters was one that, I mean, I, I love Nirvana, and um, I absolutely love uh, Foo Fighters. I think that Dave Grohl is uh, absolutely brilliant, and, um, and I think that him and his band uh, write some great stuff. Um, but I have to admit, I'm kind of partial to the earlier material that uh, that Dave has done. And what could I be talking about? Well, while he was still with Foo Fighters, he actually uh, did a recording called Pocket Watch. Actually, it was, uh, I think Pocket Watch was the name of the artist, but it was all Dave. And it was, uh, actually, it was called Late. This is not an official release by any means. It was only released on a cassette tape. <clears throat> but uh, I found the tracks and downloaded the tracks and I burned this disc. And the reason I'm going to talk about it is because I do happen to have one track on, on vinyl from this collection. Um, you know, it's actually an official release. So... Um, but this is a f fucking great collection of music. And um, this actual disc is packed with almost 80 minutes worth of material that um, it's got the uh, pocket watch uh, tape material on it. And then it's got um, some additional tracks and I'm going to talk about them. Actually, some of you fanatics out there might know more about this than me because I um, I just some of these tracks I'm not too sure about anyway that's kind of what the pack the, the the cover of the cassette looked like except it's black and white here's all the tracks there's pocket watch this freaking thing is all out of it's here I'm trying to get it in focus so you can read this crap. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and read you the track list here. Um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit too. I always like to have some kind of some kind of noise in the background. So I put that spacey ambient space, that cosmic music on in the background, 
and it calms me down. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the list of songs, the, the track listing for Pocket Watch is Pokey's Little Puppy, Petrol CB, which is also uh, subtitled There's That Song, uh, Friend of a Friend, Throwing Needles, Just Another Story About Skeeter Thompson, which is comical, Colored Pictures of a Marigold, which is Marigold, from, uh, yes, please. I'm just getting a message. Okay, goodbye. Uh, Colored Pictures of a Marigold, which is Marigold uh, by Nirvana, which Dave brought to the table and uh, they recorded. Hell's Garden, Winnebago, Foo Fighters track, Bruce, and then Milk. All right, so, um, and the version of Winnebago by Foo Fighters, I don't, I don't know if it's exactly the same recording, but Jesus Christ, they sound like they could very well be. So at any rate, it's on here. Uh, I downloaded all these from uh, YouTube videos or YouTube files that I found years ago, about six, seven years ago. But I found some other uh, tracks that um, that Dave worked on that um, I'm, I'm not too sure about what they are. There's songs, uh, there's tracks, Mountain of Youth, that's four minutes and 45 seconds. Hooker on the Street, that's three minutes, 14 seconds. And Butterflies, that's about three minutes as well. And then I think there's some demos that he did uh, for their first album for I mean that's him anyway right uh, I'll stick around big me alone and easy target good grief floaty uh, beanie weenie exhausted podunk and how I miss you I think those are all demos and uh, yeah tracks 1 through 10 are pocket watch 11 through 13 I, I as I understand it uh, Mountain of Youth, Hooker on the Street, and Butterflies are outtakes from Pocket Watch. I'm guessing from Pocket Watch. Maybe they're outtakes from the first album. And then 14 through 22 are, uh, you know, the rest of those tracks are demos. Um, yeah, a couple of these tracks, I actually had touched them up with some, uh, using some uh, audio software because they were incomplete, so I used some loops to extend them. But anyway, <clears throat> that's Pocket Watch. And like I said, it was only officially released on a cassette. I imagine the sound quality of any copies that are out there are probably rather, uh, I'll say, uh, compromised. <laughs> so, but... Uh, but this is a pretty good sounding disc and I've played this disc many a time and just absolutely, absolutely love this uh, material. I think Dave is a, a brilliant songwriter. He could just sit around, write and record stuff. And um, I think in most cases I would really enjoy it. Fucking guy's great, man. And I like his voice. I, and quite frankly, I like it when he's not screaming. But when he screams, that's cool too. You know, but you know, look what happened to Getty Lee of Rush. You know, after a while, he stopped screaming. <laughs> Maybe Dave will stop screaming soon. I don't know. Anyway, that's what this is. Pocket watch. All right, so. Of course, the first album. And this is a. Foo Fighters uh, with a limited bonus pack. Um, it came with the second disc in a little, uh, like a little sleeve. I just got a two disc holder and I just photocopied the, the artwork on that thing and stuck it in here because I definitely like the original artwork. I like having that. 
but I um, I wanted to store the disc in a case, so it was protected. Anyway, it's got those bonus tracks, Winnebago, Podunk, Ozone, and How I Miss You. How I Miss You, man, what a cool song that is, huh? That is a fucking cool tune, man. It's creepy, and it's kooky, and it's awesome. Um... But this is a call. It's just a fucking great song. I'll Stick Around is a great song. Big Me is awesome. Alone and Easy Target is great. Floaty is awesome too, man. I like the later version, that acoustic version that he does uh, later in his uh, discography. But I'll get to that later. So anyway, this came out in 95. This is a uh, domestic uh, copy. But it is uh, the one with that came with that extra four track disc. And uh, here's the uh, same album, but this is an Aussie, uh, an, uh, I should call uh, an Aussie release from Australia with six extra tracks. The tour EP has Winnebago, Put On How I Miss You and Ozone. And then it's got two live tracks for all the cows and Watershed. If you're a Foo Fighters fan, you probably know about this already but if you're a newer fan and you don't know about it this is pretty cool to have all right and there you go it's pretty weird wild stuff all right Shit. i don't want to mess this up so anyways fucking great album and this is a good version to have All right, and here, uh, here's a CD single from that album. Includes three tracks from Foo Fighters' Radio 1 Evening Session. So uh, you got some BBC material here. Uh, Big Me, and then you got Floaty, Gas Chamber, and Alone and Easy Target. Uh, BBC recordings. So you got unique material to this disc. <clears throat> All right. Okay, then, um, your second album. This is a German release with a bonus four-track EP. Now, all these different international releases, man, all the uh, bonus material overlaps pretty much. So, no big deal. No surprise, though. Uh, Requiem, Drive Me Wild, Down in the Park, and Baker Street are the bonus tracks on this disc right here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is a fucking great record, man. This, this is a fucking great album. I kind of wish it was playing right about now. I like the spacey stuff, but you know, it's really spacey. So here's the, whoa, I almost dropped it. Here's the um, Japanese release of the same album. This actually came uh, with a bonus track, Dear Lover, that was uh, uh, eventually released on a CD single later, uh, you know, a few months later. Um, but you know, I love these Japanese releases. I love, <laughs> I love getting these things, man. Um, all right, here's Monkey Wrench. Here's disc one, here's disc two, two disc set. Whoa, what a surprise. This is what they did back in the uh, mid nineties. They put these out so they could really reach into your wallet if the, you were so inclined to get them. And uh, that was me, man. I was a big collector, so I scored these things. So you get Down in the Park, See You Acoustic on disc one, and you get Up in Arms, the slow version, and you get the, <laughs> the title track to The Color and the Shape on here. 
the, the title track's not on the album, of course, you know, so. Um, anyway, that's this set of uh, CD singles. Oh. oh, yeah, and that's what the disc looks like. And if you're so inclined to want to know, that's what the discs look like. So this is CD one, this is disc two. <clears throat> and then uh, here's the Australian uh, CD single of um, Everlong. It's got Down in the Park and See You Acoustics. So these tracks, I already have them. Let's see. And this came with a, uh, a bonus poster. Bonus poster, you say? Here. I rarely take these things out, so for these videos that I'm doing of my discography, of my collection, I like to pull these things out and show them off because it's like one of the rare moments I get to see it myself. So here it is, folks. The Everlong... The poster that comes in the Australian Everlong CD single. All right, there it is. All right, it's a lot of glare because that's just the way it works, right? So, but these guys are cool, man. Pat Schmier, fucking great, man. Uh, fucking great guys. Pat Schmier, man, that's cool. Uh, so there you go. There's the uh, Australian CD single with the bonus poster. And of course, Everlong's a great track. Get in there, motherfucker. Okay, sorry. Get a little bit unruly. All right. Um, here's a promotional CD single of Walking After You. This is the uh, X uh, soundtrack version of the song. It's a different mix. I think it's the same recording, but it's an alternate mix and an alternate edit. I think it's a little bit shorter. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> I have this, but I also have I have this walking after you. Uh, this is a uh, two-track CD single uh, with Ween's Beacon Light as the second track. So this is the same version <clears throat> from uh, that X file thing all right and then um <laughs> here we go again <clears throat> and uh then they released another two track set of um everlong this is the uh, british release okay cd cd1 CD2, and look, look at that clever uh, color scheme, scheme. <laughs> so it's kind of a nice, attractive set, man. And you get Everlong, you get Drive Me Wild. What a great song that is. And you get See You Live. Here you get uh, Requiem, and I'll Stick Around Live. All right. And there's the discs. All right. My hero. This is, oh, this is British as well. 
Here's the British uh, Digipack. What the mother? dust accumulated in my package. All right, um, Foo Fighters, my hero. Boy, you can't even see the titles. They are so small. And I'm an old man, so. My hero, Baker Street, and, and Dear Lover is here. And then there's an enhanced uh, section, I think that has a, uh, the uh, two videos. Everlong and Monkey Wrench. Enhanced CDs. Who looks at that enhanced CDs anymore? I don't even know. All right, but anyway, that's uh, that's my hero. Dave and the gang. All right, those are all the CD singles uh, from uh, The Color and the Shape. Then Dave did a motion picture soundtrack uh, for the movie Touch. And I found this when I was out in California meeting my fiance and uh, in, in a record store that had used CDs. I'm looking through the Foo Fighters section, used section, and I found this and didn't know a thing about it. This is great, man, because he did all the, uh, all the, well, the incidental music in here, there's some incidental music that he did. I don't know if he did all the music for the soundtrack, but um, he included, I guess, everything that he did in, on this album. And um, it's got Bill Hill theme, August Murray theme, then he's got a song, track three, How Do You Do, is, could have easily, well, maybe not easily, maybe awkwardly, I think it would have fit on the color and the shape. Uh, I at least made a great B-side, because it is just this great fucking song, man. How Do You Do is a great song. If you don't, if you are a Foo Fighter fan and you never heard it, look it up on YouTube or somewhere, I'm sure that it's there. And it's really good. But I like all the incidental music that he does on here. A lot of it reminds me of uh, Pocket Watch. You know, it's just Dave in his studio doing what he does. And he, what he does is great. And um, there's a lot of real cool stuff on here. Uh, the other track that's on here is the very last one, Touch. He does a duet with some girl. And it's really a beautiful song. Now, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters. And to call the song beautiful, you know, okay, call me out for being some kind of a wuss. But it's a great fucking song. Touch. Check that out on uh, YouTube if you want. It's a great fucking song. And I love it. It's really, it's just a good tune. So anyway, that this this soundtrack to this movie Touch, if you can find this, if you're a completist like I am, I you know when I get into an artist, I go all out, I look for everything. This is actually worth having if you are a completist, if you can appreciate, you know, if you can go get you know, go beyond the uh, the screaming hard rock uh, stuff that Foo Fighters does, you know, and that's great too. This is good as well. All right, so, you know, a couple years later, they put this out. There was nothing left to lose. Man, when this came out, I just loved it, and I still do. It's a great fucking record. This is a great fucking album. Huh. I think that this came uh, 
I think this came... I think it came with this little sticker that you could stick on your like car window or something. And me, I don't, I don't do anything like that with these little stickers and stuff, man. I always keep them with the package because I like, that's that collector mentality that I have. I like to keep it all with the, um, uh, with the package. And every once in a while when I pull these things out and I check them out, I go, oh, wow, I forgot about this. This is kind of cool. Anyway, this is like the, the Digipack. Look at this. I kept the stupid hype sticker. <laughs> so you know I'm a dork. Because I stepped, I kept the hype sticker. <sighs> How ridiculous. Anyway. Here it is. This fold out Digipack thing that they, uh. that it came in right and uh, this fucking great album man stacked actors breakout learn to fly give me stitches generator Aurora, Living Skin, Next Year, Headwires, Ain't It the Life, and M.I.A. I think every song on here is just a fucking great song. These guys were on, you know, firing on all cylinders to use a cliche that people probably hate, including me. They were firing on all cylinders. What a cliche that is. But they were kicking ass when this came out. They were really just fucking great. Don't know how else to say it. Here's the Japanese uh, Digipack release. It came with an extra track, Fraternity. That's the bonus track that came on the Japanese release. Here's another copy. I think this was Australian. Let's find out. So, bitch. Oh, yeah. This was cool because um, it came with the um, bonus video CD or VCD. Uh, it had videos of Learn to Fly, Generator, Breakout, and Next Year. So you could put this on your TV. You could put this in your DVD player. And watch a choppy video. Because video CDs really suck. They really blow. This is an Australian release, yeah. Alright. But that's what... Uh, That's what came with it. So you get that, right? Then you get, then you get that. That's your video CD with those four videos. Yeah, it's too bad it was like such a shitty, um, shitty picture, and it was kind of choppy, and it was just fucked up. What? They sold me a copy. Yep, I bought it. So, anyway, there you go. Then they put out lots of CD singles. Okay, so you get...
Hmm. You get CD1. Here you get uh, next year. This, these are British CD singles and Britain. I mean, England, they were they just were horrible about this. They just put out tons of I'm surprised they didn't get to like, you know, a three disc set. I guess some artists probably did that. I don't know if Foo Fighters did. Maybe Dave put his foot down. Anyway, here you get CD1, CD2. You know it's a set because the basically the artwork's the same. Hello. So uh, you get uh, the next year's, uh, you get remix of next year and you get Monkey Wrench live in Australia on here. And you get... Um, Oh, you get the album version too and the remix then you get monkey wrench live in australia here you get next year for four thirty seven. well wait a minute this says it's oh okay yeah you get the album version uh and not the remix because the remix is shorter so you know right away when you look at the time stamp and then uh, Baker Street, you get, and you get some enhanced uh, uh, material. It's the video of next year. All right, so there's your two CD set of next year. Then you get, um, they put out uh, Generator. This is in a British uh, release. Strictly limited edition, so buy yours right, right now before it's gone. Um, it includes four. Is that what it says? Yeah, includes four previously unreleased tracks, including Fraternity. Well, if unless you live in Japan, so you get. Um, Ain't It The Life, uh, Live Acoustic, Floaty, Live Acoustic, that's the one, man. The acoustic version of Floaty, I think, is the one of the coolest songs, man, I love it. And then you get Fraternity, which is that bonus track from Japan, and you get Breakout Live. So this is actually pretty cool. I think this was an Australian pressing. Made, oh, sorry, made in the EU, made in the EU. So it is a European release. Anyway, it's numbered 6331, so look at that. But it's strictly limited. There's only 6,000, at least 6,000 copies of it out there. Yeah, it sounds limited. Um, here you get uh, stacked actors. Courtney Love really appreciated that track. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Uh, stacked actors, and then you get Ain't It the Life, Ain't It the Life Acoustic and Floaty Acoustic. So here you go. This British release has those two um, acoustic live tracks. And here you get Learn to Fly. And uh, actually, this is this says made in Germany, so I would have bet money that this was a. Uh, a British release, but uh, it says made in Germany. See, that says made in Germany. This says made in England. And this is CD2. Ah, oh, so fucking funny. Anyway, uh, you get uh, Iron and Steel and Half a Cigar on here. Here you get make a bet and have a cigar. So what the fuck? Here's the uh, generator exclusive Australian EP. You get learn to fly live in Australia, stacked actors live in Australia, breakout live. It's probably the same version of breakout on that other package. And go 
Ah. Huh. I have so much stuff by these guys, it's all out of order. Go figure. Here, look at this. All right. Now, both of these are, are British. All right. What's this one, then? What the fuck? Ah. This is Australian. Go figure. Now, this is interesting. I, I see why I bought them. Uh, because on CD1, uh, it has Big Me, the two meter sessions, and next year, the two meter sessions. So you have totally different uh, alternate b-sides on here than on that australian one so now before i go any further this came with a poster so let's check it out that was cd1 of uh, cd1 of next year came with a poster calendar Yippee! Yo. All right. So there you go. There's your poster calendar. All right. Look at those mugs. I like how Taylor Hawkins looks so disinterested. I. I. He's so. <laughs> I'm looking for his next fix, man. I hate to say it. Thank God he cleaned up. I really am appreciative of that fact. In all sincerity. Because Taylor Hawkins is a fucking great drummer, man. Fucking all the respect for that guy. He's fucking great. Anyway. That's the poster that came with this. Obviously, I'm going to have to do my vinyl collection as a separate video. There's no no doubt about it. Uh, so I'm just saying that right now. All right. Somehow, this is back in its little spot. All right, so there you go. You get that. And this one feels like it's got something going on in it as well. So. Hold on. Two thousand one poster calendar. Yeah, that's got to be the same calendar. So I actually have two copies of that poster. And that's what happens, man. When you're a collector, you end up getting all this crap that you forget you even have. Holy fuck. One more CD single from that album, Breakout. Uh, with Monkey Wrench live in Australia next year, live in Australia. So... Huh. What a surprise. This was made in Australia. All right. So anyway, there you have it, man. That's all the stuff from, uh, the, not the color and the shape from, uh, what's it called? There is nothing left to lose. All right, man, 
I don't know what this is. This is their next album, One by One. God, I was living in Lodi when this came out. One by One. <clears throat> this is a... Uh, well, wait a minute now. Here, look at this. Right? You know, when you do these color variations or design variations, fanatics go crazy. Now, I didn't buy it because one was had a black cover and one had a white cover. I appreciate that, but I didn't. That's not why I got it. This is a. Um, I think this is the first one that I got. And I think this is a British release, or this is maybe this is a domestic release. Yeah, this is domestic. This is from the, from the U.S. And so this is the first thing I got. It's a good album too. <clears throat> but I got this one because it came with. Um, I think this is Australian again. Where the fuck is it from? Yeah. Yeah, this has um has some uh, B-sides and some live tracks on it on a, a second bonus disc. So, um Is it in here? Here it is. Yeah. So you, one by one. And here's your album. And there's your bonus disc. Ah, Australian bonus disc. Man, my side. What the hell did I do to my kidney? Um, so you get Walking a Line. This has seven tracks on it, this, sec this second disc. So this is a pretty cool bonus disc. Walking a Line, Sister Europe, Danny Says, Life of Illusion, for All the Cows, live in Amsterdam, Monkey Wrench, live in Melbourne, Australia, and next year also live in Melbourne. So you get seven tracks. I'm sure those, some of those live tracks are probably exclusive to this package. Maybe maybe they're on a CD single somewhere from England or something. I don't know. But anyway, so this, this was a pretty cool package to get. Uh... Australian tour package. Then <laughs> Norway got into it. Here's the special Norwegian edition. All right, with the red cover, with the red plastic cover. Now I sh really should take special care of this cover. This is a two disc set as well. How nice that it flips right over. Uh, and you get uh, five tracks on here. Snuff, Times Like These, Low, Aurora, and Monkey Wrench. A long version of Monkey Wrench and a long version of Aurora. That's nine minutes. Monkey Wrench is eight and a half minutes. So it includes four songs live from Oslo, Spectrum. Four songs live. But there's five tracks. Maybe they changed their mind and they added a last, a, a fifth track at the last minute. All right, so there you go. Because this has a special 
uh, jewel case. I like to protect shit like that. And put it in here. This comes with a little strip on the back that you peel off and you throw it on the floor. Just to piss off your mom. And then you seal it up. And now that's in there. For good, I'm never gonna play it again. Shut up, mom, I'll clean it up. Uh, all right, man. Anyway, one by one. Which reminds me. Here's the 10 inch double uh, LP version of one by one, but that is gonna be in the next video. But you get a glimpse, you get a glimpse, man. So, um, all right, um, more CD singles. Uh, here you get um, a double disc set of all my life. These are British. Again, England wants your cash. And they certainly got a lot of mine. Uh, here you have uh, All My Life, and then you get Danny Says and The One. And on this other disc, you get Sister Europe and Win or Lose. And you also get All My Life video. Director's cut. So here you got another enhanced CD single. Well, yippee. All right. Here you get Have It All. Have It All. Made in the UK. They only put out one single for ha single. One CD single for Have It All. How about that? Uh, Have It All uh, album version and then Darling Nikki and Disenchanted Lullaby, which is live acoustic. So. Here you get times like these. Here you get times like these. Are these both British? I do not know. Looks like it. I think so. I think these are both British. One has some enhanced uh, material on it. Oh, I take that back. They both do. Maybe one of these is not British, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, these are two different single CD singles with uh, times like these. This one has normal, previously unreleased, learn to fly live, and uh, and then en some enhanced stuff. This is Japanese grunge. I wonder what the fuck that is, because I these enhanced sections I rarely, if ever, looked at them. Usually there would be. Uh, videos of the songs and you could and eventually get them on something else uh, here you get uh, life of illusion joe walsh cover well, how great is that uh you get planet claire with fred schneider yeah and you get two enhanced sections uh nice hat and black slapper i have no idea what they are i don't know what those are if anybody knows man let me know i would love to know or maybe I'll look it up online. Here you get a uh, low. Here, let's see, I can read this. Australian, this is Australian. Australian uh, CD single of low. You get uh, enough space live. Never talking to you again live. And you get 
the low video and then you get cd-rom bonus clip now low the video that's got to be cd-rom material as well i'm thinking right or is that a cd is that a cdv track that you can play in your video player i don't know here you get uh oh here's the dvd ep aha see now we're talking now it's not a video CD, it's a DVD EP, so now it's cool. And you get low, you get times like these. Oh, you get times like these, and then you also get another UK video directed by somebody else. Times like these video directed by Mark Klausfeld. Klausfeld? Why don't you put the fonts fucking smaller, asshole, so I can't read it at all, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Times like these, UK video, directed by Liam, Liam Lynch. And then you get times like these, acoustic, ver uh, acoustic video, that's directed by Bill, by Bill, somebody whose name I can't read because the font is too fucking small. I don't get it. unbelievable next you get um in your honor this is actually something i put together and what i did was uh because in your honor has um here's the actual album here it is again oh wait a minute i don't even think this is the album is it 21 songs on two CDs. Oh, yeah. This might be the Japanese release. All right, anyway. This was a two-disc set. One was live. I mean, one was live. One was... Uh, oh, I get it. I see what I have here. This is the British release. Okay. And it came with 21 tracks. There was an extra track. If you got this uh, domestically here in the States, you uh, got 20 tracks. There were 10, 10 songs on each disc. And the first track is loud. The second track is softer. <laughs> so I'm like, well, why do that, man? Uh, you know... I like the diversity in the sound and I, and the styles. So what I did was I, I burned my own disc where I alternated the tracks. Uh, the first one from the first album, from the first disc, and then the first one from the second disc. And I just went and did that. And then I added all the B-sides and all the uh, extra material. There's, there was a ton of it from a uh, ton of b-sides and stuff from uh, other C cd singles that came out and also from some vinyl uh singles that came out that were exclusive to the vinyl uh single so you get uh this little production and of course i jazzed it up put all the uh tracks on either side here so it's it's just my own little collection of that material so that it's diversified and spread out on two discs and it, it's expanded obviously with all that other material so then uh this came out um where the hell did i get this from i can't remember where it's from and it came uh oh you know what this is it's the entire album in enhanced stereo disc two in 5.1 surround sound and then you get the making of the album documentary so it's, it's got a dvd this is two two cds and a dvd and you have surround sound uh material on that dvd that's cool i don't remember listening to that though i'll be on and i had a surround sound setup 
Holy shit. I don't remember ever listening to it. Um, here's a CD single, Best of You. And it's got FFL, Kiss the Bottle, and uh, uh, What an Honor, which is an interview video clip, another enhanced CD single. So you got two B-sides right here. FFL and Kiss the Bottle. Here you have Best of You and I'm in Love with a German Film Star, another B-side. Here you got DOA and I Feel Free, a cream cover song. How cool is that shit? <clears throat> Here you get DOA and then you get Skin and Bones, I Feel Free, and you get Best of You, Enhanced Video. So you have another uh, enhanced uh, CD single here. I love how scratched up this shit got. Thank God for that. Here you get Resolve and DOA, the demo of DOA. And here you get Resolve and you get World Demo, you get Born on the Bayou, a CCR uh, cover, and you get Resolve Take Two video. Maybe it's a different version of uh, Resolve Take Two. I'll look for that. Here is an exclusive from Best Buy back in 2005 or 2006 when this came out. And it's got a uh, DOA acoustic. It's got skin and bones. I feel free and FFL. So you got an assortment of B sides, but you don't have them all. Here you get um, Foo, Fighter, Foo Fighters, No Way Back and Cold Day in the Sun. And then you get uh, Best of You, recorded live in the winter of 2005. And you get it all in this fancy uh, custom cracked jewel case. All right, and here you have something else. Here too. All right, then after... Uh, in your honor, you get uh, Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Here's the Japanese pressing of that album because it had two bonus tracks. Once and for All, a, a demo of Once and for All, which is not even on the album. I guess they only worked up the demo and that was that. And, um, what the fuck is that? Oh, I see what I did here. <laughs> so you get the uh, a demo of Once and For All, and you get Sita or Seda, which is another, that's track 14. So you get two bonus tracks on this Japanese thing. Awesome. Here you get um, Long Road to Ruin. It includes the video, and then also it includes Keep the Car Running and Big Me, and uh, so you get those uh, two bonus audio tracks, and you get Long Road to Ruin on a video because it's enhanced again. I don't know, man. I just never bothered putting these things in my computer so that I could look at these enhanced tracks. I just want to hear it out of my speakers, my stereo speakers. Here you get The Pretender and Come Alive, that's a demo. If Ever is another B-side and Monkey Wrench, video clip from Hyde Park. <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me sleepy, right? Hi, Mom. Here you get uh, Long Road to Ruin and Seda as a B-side. 
So if you didn't get that Japanese release, you still get Seda. You still find it on a CD single from England. And here you got the Pretender and If Ever. Hmm, let's see here. Yeah, here you got two different, uh, two different CD singles of the Pretender. Sometimes it gets a little bit out of order. All right, and then um, it's just something I burned. I think these are all the. Uh, yeah, these are all the B sides for uh, for this album on one disc, including the uh, the B sides on the um, those vinyl singles that I have. Here's something that I they put this out medium rare. I actually didn't get this, but what I did was I found a whole bunch of other tracks. And I ended up burning this to uh, CDR. It's 21 tracks with a time of uh, a total time of eight, 78 minutes, 78 and a half minutes. And because I'm a whack, what I did was. I burned it, and then I made a booklet. This was basically the cover for their medium rare, and it's just a bunch of covers. And I'm a horrible person, man, because I did this. I should score an actual copy of this and then just keep it next to this. Yeah, here you go. This is so. Medium Rare is a covers album and was released on April 16th, 2011, as a limited edition vinyl for Record Store Day, an event that celebrates independent record stores. Apart from the new recordings of Bad Reputation and This Will Be Our Year and the live version of Young Man Blues, all tracks have been previously released as B sides or in other compilation albums. Note track 10, Half a Cigar, is a different version to the one released as a B side. It's an alternate version from the Mission Impossible original soundtrack. That's interesting. How about that shit? And a CD edition of the album was also given free to new subscribers of the UK magazine Q. This particular issue, these are my notes now. This particular issue of the album is an expanded version, including eight more tracks, which have been previously issued as B-sides. So I was just not cool. I just went and found these tracks and I burned my own version of this. I'm a bad person. Not like I didn't spend enough money already on their stuff, right? But uh, yeah, you're not supposed to do that shit, man. But I did not bootleg this and sell it to other people. I just, I just burned it for myself so I could have it. I imagine the uh, vinyl version of this is probably astronomically high. I should have got a uh, subscription to Q Magazine. All right, then Foo Fighters Greatest Hits. Now this was great, man, because uh, what they did was they um, put this out and they included three songs that were previously unreleased and in this particular package, you got a DVD of um, a whole bunch of their videos. I don't know if it's all their music videos, man, but uh, it's a ton. And also some live material from Hyde Park, live from Skin and Bones, live from Everywhere But Home, live from Wembley. So you got four different uh, live performance videos on here on the DVD as well. So this was well worth getting. You're crazy if you didn't get your hands on a copy of this if you're a Foo Fighters fan. And then, 
wasted light. Wasting light. And here is the Best Buy version, the special deluxe version. It includes enhanced CD with two bonus tracks and two videos. And this was recorded entirely on analog tape in Dave's garage. A piece of the original master tape included in this package. Now, bonus enhanced CD. So that has some extra material on it. Oh, they weren't kidding. All right, there's an actual piece of piece of the uh, three quarter inch. Is that what that is? Uh, audio tape. Why would you cut it up? Why are you cutting up your master tape? <laughs> you fucking crazy man. Anyway, yeah, I just want to show that I actually still had my my audio tape in here in this booklet. All right, wasting light. All right, then I got Sonic Highways. This was another one that I just burned to disc and then scored a whole bunch of uh, material from... Um, other sessions. Uh, Howard Stern, Learn to Fly. Something from Nothing, Howard Stern. And then Letter, there's what, seven Letterman appearances or six, six tracks from Letterman. From, oh, they were on every day, one week, and they performed at least one song on the 16th, uh, October 16th, they performed two songs. So, but this was back in 2014. And so that's what this is. This is the album plus some extra material, bonus material. And again, I'm such a horrible person. Then I did the same thing with this. But then when this album came out, I bought it. Bling. That's everything digital uh, by Foo Fighters. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this video and then I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, do another video of my, uh, my uh, uh, vinyl releases. That'll include my 12 inch, uh, the LPs and the seven inch. All right, I know that I'm missing a couple of uh, C later CDs in here, but I make up for it in there. See you later.